Good morning. My name is Trent Jenkins with our Fallbrook campus here at North Coast Church. I'm excited to share the daily dose with you. We're in James chapter 1, verse 12, reading today. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. At first glance, I love the way that this verse goes with this nice, warm, fuzzy feeling of getting the crown of life. But in second glance, I don't really know that I really like this verse. Uh, Yeah, you get this reward, but basically it's time. You're going to go through a really hard time to be able to get there. I was going over this verse, and a lot of times, I don't know about you, but I I go over verses that are familiar, and I just kind of glance over them. But I honed in on that word persevere. I want to know the actual definition, and it says this, is that to persevere is to hold the course of action despite the difficulty faced and regardless of the prospect of little to no success. Wow, that's the definition of persevere. I don't know about you, but there's not a lot of things in life that I really go into anymore that I don't think that there's going to be some success or good outcome. I don't join any sports team that I think is going to be a losing team. We're not going to have any wins. That doesn't sound much fun. I don't invest my money into businesses that are just hoping to make it. Even in my relationships and friendships, you want to see some fruit from it. And here this definition is to go the course of action with little to no prospect of success. Well, what's the deal then? We got to ask ourselves, like, then why do we do this? Why do we go about this faith? I mean, there's been so many messages about prosperity and the blessed life as a Christian. And I know in these daily doses, we've covered the fact that a Christian life is no promised life of this prosperity and, and all this blessings. We get blessings, but they oftentimes don't look like what we think. And so we look at the second part of this verse and we get that clue that it's not about this earthly reward, but it's an eternal reward that we're really going for, this crown of life. And the crown referred to here, oftentimes crowns are referred to, yes, as royalty, but it was also a trophy. of The games that were being played at that point in time, the races won, they would be crowned. They would be crowned the victor, much like a trophy for us today. God is going to place this trophy on us saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. And so we play to win for the other side of this temporary life. So I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what failures you've had. I know I've had a ton of failures, whether it be in in schooling or life or relationships or just my bad attitude this morning. I've had a lot of failures, but I don't look at what Christ has done for me as just an excuse for my misgivings and sin. He bore my sins on that cross. He paid the price of that ultimate sacrifice, not so that I have this get out of jail free card, but it's so that I can understand that if he did it, I can also pursue that life of righteousness. And he bore that all all that pain, all of that sin for me. And so it should motivate me to live a life in such a way to live it for the cause of Christ. And so today I wanna encourage you Live that life in a way that he set that example for us. He sacrificed for us and we can continue to live this life for him. So whatever circumstance you're going through today in anywhere area that you're wanting to quit and just and give up, I wanna tell you, get up, get going, don't quit. If you're in a marriage that feels like it's failing, get help, you know, see some people, get some advice, but don't quit. If you've been on the other side of addiction and you're you're trying to stay clean, don't give up. Press in, even though it seems hard. If you've just been dealing with a bad attitude or an apathetic spirit, I wanna tell you, persevere under this trial, under this weight that you might be going through because there is victory on the other side. As Christians, when have we ever decided that it was okay to fail? When did we ever end up developing this attitude that we're gonna fail because Christ paid the price for us all? No, Paul encourages, press in, fix your eyes on the prize. He says to put your, beat your body into submission as a fighter fighting the fight. Let's do that today for Christ. We're not gonna give up. We're not gonna give in. We're gonna keep the fight and we're gonna persevere. Have a great day, everybody.